or over. So the very best of luck. <laughs> We've got Mark Charnett here now. He's just look, looked at the, uh, his introduction. He says, do you know, every interview always starts with poor old Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly the words we're about yes. to start with now. Poor old Marlon Dingle from Emmerdale. Uh, once again, up to his neck in oh, trouble. Dear. Most of us would save up for a deposit for a house, but not Marlon. He decides to put what little he's got on a dog. Miraculously, the dog wins, but that's when the trouble starts. No, he can't. He's just Actually, eaten 18 he, grand. He was really hungry, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but there, but there, but you, but no bookie can do that. <laughs> I know. It, well, yeah, it was, it's a dodgy bookie. It's a dodgy sort of backstreet leads bookie. Oh. So he can do what he wants. And why does Marlon go to a dodgy backstreet bookie? Well, it's, it's just he, he's, trying, he's got this three grand that he's supposed to put in the bank and they need this deposit for this house that's going up in an auction. He, he's like, all right. He goes mad, really. He sees all these little bits of fate that he thinks are going to lead him to this win, and he wins. The dog wins. And then his betting slip gets eaten, and then he's just completely scuppered. Well, this is it's heartbreaking, because <laughs> you just think, just give this bloke a break. No, it's relentless. And then he, he decides, he, he, he gets drunk one night in the wool pack, and he decides with his brother Eli... <gasps> Who's going, bad news, Eli's such I bad don't, news. I don't never learns. And Marlon never learns not to, you know, he always thinks he can trust him in the end. <sighs> and so they go, they decide to reclaim their money from the bookie in a... In a a really dodgy well, one. look yes. that what we just saw happened mm. on Thursday, That's right, yeah. and let's have a little look at what happens tomorrow. This is a big one-hour episode yeah. tomorrow night. Oh my God, my God. You call the police! Stop! Stop it! Stop what you're doing right now! What are you doing? It's over, OK? It's over, so whoever you are, just put the stupid gun down and get out! Get your butt out! No, just give me the flaming what gun! What are you doing? Give me the gun! Oh, oh no! <laughs> so, Marlon... It's taking the bullet. It takes the bullet, yeah, yeah. And then it, and and it's it's a nightmare. Eli runs off, and then Marlon is take is flatlines in hospital. No, what? no, mm. you can't tell us that. Can tell, that's as far as I can tell you. That in, on Wednesday night he goes, he's operated on, and he flatlines. And does he come back or doesn't can't he? Can't tell you. You'll have to watch. Have you got the summer off doing a show? Somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing short tour. <laughs> Summer season. But you'll be back in September. <laughs> no, I can't tell you, but it's. I've got to say, Mickey Jones directed uh, those episodes, and he's, he's he's made it look really filmic. So we're really excited about it. Well, really? you were supposed oh, to be Angel's outside so in the getaway good. car, weren't you? That was I know, bad. and he was waiting and waiting for me. He said I'll be two minutes, and he was ten, and, he, and Marlon just thinks I'm going to. Something's gone wrong, and he he knows that the gun shouldn't be involved, and he can just see it unfold. This horror unfolding in front of him, and so he goes on there, and, and it all goes <sighs> really pear shaped. So let, let's just look at this. So Marlon. <laughs> Dingle for a start. Started yeah. off dodgy, turned really good, good yeah, heart, really. Yeah. Marlon dodgy Dingle. Then, of course, he's widowed. Widowed, yeah, loses Tricia. Yeah. <sighs> then he manages that. to find Donna. Yeah, That's falls great. in love again. Yeah. Then he has four kids foisted on him. What's going on? Then Donna and he win the prize to win yeah. the show home, which, of course, is. <laughs> oh, that's the end of that. Then he says, here's the money I'm going to make £18,000, which will get the deposit to get the house on yep, the auction, yep, make yep, Donna yep. happy. Yeah. Man eats the thing, gets shot. Yeah, that's my life in a nutshell. On screen and off. It's kind of like, it's quite nice, really, because you go, when you go out, everybody just feels superior to you, so you don't get threatened or anything like that. People just pity you. Can oh. I get you a drink? Yeah, oh, yeah. lovely. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, have you revealed yourself to be a big old scaredy pants on uh, this <laughs> other programme yeah. that you have done? Yeah, we did a show called Ghost Hunting with the Dingles. They did it with Girls Allowed last time, yeah, uh, but I think they got scary. more than high-pitched screaming with us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, we, we went on and we, we, did, we did also these haunted houses, and I'm the sceptic, I'm not really, I, I don't think I really believe in ghosts. But we, we did Temple Newsome and it was absolutely terrifying. There's an underground tunnel and they said, all right, we're going to send people, this is the most haunted part of Temple Newsome. I want you to go in there with a handheld camera on your own and a torch and call out to the violent monk Ooh, who lives down idea. there. So I did, I went down there and I went, okay, um, if there's anybody down here with me, could you um, tap twice? Yes, please. <laughs> and I'm holding the camera like that and there was a crumbling noise ahead of me. And then I went further down the tunnel. I said, just tap twice for yes. And in my ear, right, I can't explain, it just, I just heard this, uh, and I went, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I said, 
I played a monk on telly once. And <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Just imagine the ghost like that. Oh. <laughs> Not another actor. <laughs> I am the violent monk. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, so when does this go out? Uh, I think it's in July that's being screened. So it's just lots of dingles revealing themselves to be really, really, really afraid. Where's Temple Newsom? What is uh, it? It's Neil. It's, it's, sort of, it's a rock venue normally. It's this yeah. emo enormous kind of like, um, uh, you know, national trust kind of house. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we, and it's posted the supposedly very haunted. Because they, they do take you down there for midnight and two o'clock in the morning, don't they? Yeah. So you're scared it was, it was and I, as I say, I'm a skeptic, but it, it was just the dark. It's yeah. so frightening. And did I was on my own. Uh, yeah, why did you do that? I don't, I'm an idiot. When you're watching a film and somebody does that, you go, do's that. <laughs> 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 when somebody do's that. <laughs> oh, say, don't do's that, Mr. Monk. <laughs> <laughs> See, we were oh, asked... there should be frightened down here, Mr. Monk. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you and I were asked to do that and you wouldn't do it. I don't blame you. I lost about three stone doing that. It's absolutely terrible. Oh, I must do it. <laughs> 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 Sounds great. So do you get... Uh, is this... Is this Was this shot... Uh, sort, of, sort of schedules and things mm. were shot whilst you were in hospital? How did you... Yeah, all that? that was going on at the same time. And I was doing a play to raise money at Harrogate Theatre. So I think I must have had a couple of breakdowns. <laughs> uh, it was it was the most <laughs> stressful four weeks of my life. That oh wow! Yeah, but Are it was you having great. a bit of a break now? No, 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 no. Can't Tifa. say. Oh, you see, he nearly, he nearly, nearly. Well done. Oh, that was good. <laughs> just have to watch Tuesday, Wednesday. This. You see, if I, I'd have answered, if I'd have been him, then I'd have answered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right into that, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's very lovely much. to see you as always, oh, Mark. Well, we'll be watching that. Mo no, mo not most haunted. Uh, ghost hunting. Yeah, that's in July. Yeah, but Emmerdale tomorrow night is. Emmerdale. Yes, yeah, sorry, that's the most very important good. thing. Sorry, Emmerdale. Yeah. <laughs> then goes hunting. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Thank you very Thanks much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Well, still to come this morning. How about these for a couple of really couple?